Welcome to Survival Theory. I'm just out hiking today, getting out for a bushcraft breakfast. It's a late breakfast. I got some cattail, so I'm going to fry up, uh, boil some cattail and have cattail on the cob. And I've got a bunch of the pollen, and I went ahead and mixed it and made a mixture for cattail pancakes, pollen pancakes. And there's plenty of blackberry around here, so I'm probably going to put some blackberry on those pancakes. And I'm starving, so let's get busy. Since I've already pre-mixed everything, I'm going to see if I can find some sandstone to put around the fire to hold the grill. And then after that, I'll pick some blackberries to put on the waffles if I don't eat them all when I pick them. There's a couple of sandstone, or one big one that broke. I can probably break it one more time and get my three stones out of it. Blackbird, don't fail me now. Oh, certainly didn't hurt the blackbird. All right, I'm going to break the sandstone. I almost need to break it over another rock. Well, perhaps I'll just find another rock. I need to stop picking blackberries. I'm not putting them in here, I'm eating them. So that's enough. Look at the ear. Here's another edible plant. This is the Texas thistle. A species of bull thistle. Stalks. Have some vitamins, minerals. There's lots of salts and vitamins in the leaves. Uh, make artichoke out of the flower buds. But you have to cut off the spines on these. They don't soften in boiling water. So that is the Texas thistle. There's one of the flowers. Nothing poisonous on it. But these spines will get you, so the spines have to be removed. It's not a bushcraft bre breakfast, it's a tactical breakfast. I thought I had recorded this, but I guess I didn't. So I put the cattails in the water. I'm going to boil them for a few minutes. I've got my pan here with a little bit of oil in it.
pretty good. I can't resist. Try a little bit of this. Oh, that's good. It's real good. Now for this batter. I used half a cup of cattail pollen. There's a little bit of fluff in there as well. And a half cup of all-purpose flour, one egg, about three quarters a cup of milk, a dash of powdered sugar, a dash of salt, and that's it. I just put a little bit of olive oil in the pan. Very delicious. Of course, I can put blackberries on top. But they're good by themselves. A lot of protein and vitamin C in today's breakfast, as well as potassium, magnesium. It's a good breakfast. All right, I'm gonna call that done. All right, two pancakes. A few blackberries on there. It's good with the blackberries, it's good without them. I can tell already this is going to be very filling. So much protein, so thick.
All right, for the most part, I've gotten cleaned up. And these boiled for a few minutes, so I think these nature corn dogs are ready. cool down just a little bit. You can see it kind of turns to water. Kind of a dark yellow. Here's these delicious treats. Cattail. Mm. That one was a little not quite ripe. Very, very green. Don't like it. This one's got some yellow on it. Looks like corn almost. No, I didn't add any salt or pepper or anything. Still pretty good. Kind of like a bland corn. The best ones are these. They're yellow inside but green on the outside. All that pollen. They taste pretty good. Well, I'm all packed up and ready to go. The breakfast was delicious, very filling, although it was more of a brunch, I guess. So I'm going to sit here for a while, enjoy the outdoors, make sure the fire's out, drink my Ovaltine, and then head back to the fake world. So thanks for watching Survival Theory. Please share, like, subscribe, and I'll see you next time.